What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Mosin Dude here and as you can see today we're going to be working on the wheels and tires of this El Camino trying to get those off and replace them with the ones that you saw in the intro of this video. Like you just saw here we uh, broke all the bolts loose before we tried to jack it up just for safety precaution. We don't want the car on the jack stand or on the jack itself and us be trying to break those bolts loose and knock it off the stands and it fall on one of us or uh, just fall in general, maybe mess up the car. We just try to do that beforehand, like I said, for safety precautions. And then also uh, just to kind of try to loosen it up a little bit beforehand because we have that extra stability while it's on the ground. Uh, so we're not fighting anything else um, other than trying to get the bolts loose. So you can see here, we are looking for places to try to put this jack stand up underneath the car, but we are having a lot of trouble because the uh, car is sitting basically on the rims itself. The tires aren't providing any extra support or height for us to be able to get the jack stand up underneath. So we're looking for places that we can get it and uh, it's just simply not working. So here we took this log and I sped this up a little bit for the sake of time, but we took this log and we're going to pull it, the car on top of the log with the tractor here, as you can see. And that way it kind of gives us maybe four or five inches of room. That way we can put the jack stand up underneath it. And we start on the other side. And as you'll see here, uh, it's pretty stable. We got it in neutral, so the car can still roll and stuff like that, but we have it on the front side of the log. That way, the uh, car's not going to roll too far back. So, as you can see here, we uh, got the jack stand up underneath this front wheel, got it jacked up, so now we can take this wheel and tire off and replace it with the nice and shiny ones. I really hate that those wheels are uh, kind of have to go to waste. We're going to try to sell them but I just really hate the fact that this car was sitting for four years on its on the tires and stuff. They were dry rotted before they even started that four year period. So it's just kind of sad, but we're gonna try to make the best out of it. And uh, we're really appreciative for these new wheels that we got uh, from my uncle. So if you're watching this, we appreciate it. But with that being said, we're gonna get these all cinched up and uh, try to get the car moving. So here we're getting the last tire on. As you can see, my dad is gonna go in a star pattern with the tightening of the bolts. That way you just apply the pressure evenly all the way across. You just want to tighten it just enough to where the tire spins just like that. And then as you do that with all five, you can drop the stand and then tighten it down real snugly as you'll see him do here. So we were having some issues with the car getting into gear itself. So we put some of this type F transmission fluid in there and that seemed to solve the problem pretty easily. So guys, if you enjoyed this kind of content, be sure to let me know. Always remember where you came from and to stay humble. This is the Mosin Dude and we'll see you on the next video.